and welcome to our inaugural edition of Frisco Physicians Unmasked. Today we are here with Dr. Juan Cabrera. He is a specialist in physical medicine and rehabilitation, and he will be one of the doctors on staff at the brand new UT Southwestern building at El Dorado in the Tollway. Dr. Cabrera, thank you so much for being with us thank today. You, it's good to be here. So are you excited about this new hospital right here at El Dorado in the Tollway or what? Yes. Terribly excited. Excellent. And now you and your wife, Allison, live in Prosper. We do. So you've been making this drive all the way downtown into the gigantic UT Southwestern facility down there. So this has to mean something even more to be bringing this practice up right into your own personal right. backyard. Right. So we started here in August and uh, yeah, the commute, uh, you know, three hours every day in the car with 20,000 of our closest friends yes, going exactly. in the same direction. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that being cut down to a 10 minute commute and being in the community where we live. Good, good. How did you get to the Frisco Prosper area? My wife grew up in Dallas, so there was always that um, call to come back the home. call to come back home. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and we always knew there was a chance that was gonna happen. So when we both got contacted by UT Southwestern about this opportunity, that could have gotten us to Dallas, but we talked to our departments about Frisco and being able to live a little bit outside of Dallas and have a growth opportunity yes. with a new new building and new hospital is just too exciting for us to pass up. Can you explain what physical medicine and rehabilitation is and why our Frisco parents and residents should be concerned sure. about this specialty? Sure. So physical medicine and rehabilitation, also known as PM&R or physiatry, uh, has not done ourselves a service by giving us that name. So it's kind of hard to visualize what that means. The short way to say that is I like to tell people our job is to get people back from whatever injury or illness or catastrophic event that happens to them back to living their life at their fullest. You, you hear a lot of people get strokes or fall and get fractures, hip surgeries, shoulder surgeries. You could have a brain injury, which is my specialty. Something that takes you off of your normal living, everyday life. We're the physicians that are specialized in working with either your surgeons or your therapists or psychologists or counselors to try to get you your life back, basically. Got it. And how does that differ from sports medicine? Correct. Right. So sports medicine is a part of physical medicine and rehabilitation. Okay. So there is a growing number of people that go into physical medicine and rehabilitation that choose sports medicine as their field. So those are more athletic type injuries, whether it's uh, recreational activities or professional activities. Um, but everyone else that isn't lucky enough to get paid to do fun things like play sports also get hurt as well. So right. with the, the biggest reasons that, you know, we're in the hospital with heart disease and strokes and diabetes, there's a big portion of recovery and rehabilitation that happens outside of the athletic field. So Dr. Cabrera, what drew you to this specialty, specifically the brain injury and rehabilitation aspect of it? When I got into physical medicine rehabilitation, uh, it was because I liked a little bit of everything, but didn't really fall in love with any one specific thing like pediatrics or surgery or right. orthopedics. Um, and physical medicine rehabilitation allows you to use your skills in all the things that you like and kind of take the patient as a whole and um, kind of like a jack of all trades. Recovering from traumatic brain injuries is, is a really rewarding field for me. I'm sure you have several hobbies and things that you and Allison do outside of the work life. Does that tie into what you do professionally? Absolutely. Having two kids, you have to stay active. Yes. Um, so that, that's a big part of our life outside of work. But Allison and I have made a conscious effort over the last several years to stay healthy and active. Um, and it's gotten to the point where we actually incorporate our professional and our personal interests. So we both have an interest in bringing lifestyle medicine to Frisco. The whole concept with that is how do we make sure that people are eating better, sleeping better, loving each other, treating each other better, staying active, moving, um, and, and living a longer, healthier life? Because you know we can live a long life, but if you're not feeling well for it, then you know what's the what's point the of point? living longer? Right. So one of the things that we want to bring here is actually uh, specific classes and opportunities for Frisco to come join us so that we can share the science behind why moving better, living better, loving better um, is th the recipe for happiness and fitness. So as a very new Frisco area resident, what do you think will be the key thing that UT Southwestern as a brand and as a hospital and rehabilitation facility bring to the community? Sure, sure. So I, I believe the three mottos that UT Southwestern carries is education, so training the next 
group of physicians and care providers, uh, that, that's an exciting thing for me. I like to pass on and, and education is a big part of what we like to do. Mm-hmm. Um, also, uh, the research aspect of it. Exactly. Uh, the opportunity to actually bring cutting edge research to Frisco. We can bring some of our expertise and actually the clinical patient care will kind of be an easy marriage for us. And the last part is clinical excellence. That's right. that's what we want. That, you know, being able to, to bring the, the best physicians in our field to the community here in Frisco it makes sense as fast as it's growing. I know that Frisco is typically seen as a young city, but we do have an aging population and our, our whole population is aging year to year as we grow as a city. How d- will UC Southwestern meet the needs of that, an aging population? Right. I, I think specifically physical medicine rehabilitation and UT Southwestern are a good match for that. UT Southwestern, and particularly physical medicine rehabilitation, uh, focuses a lot on keeping people healthy, keeping people active, keeping people within their lifestyle. So we'll work very closely with the physical therapists and occupational therapists, our rehab psychologists, uh, our sports medicine colleagues, our surgical colleagues to kind of make sure that we're keeping people in in, in the right part of their life as long as possible, keeping keeping us out of the hospital. Exactly. What's the one thing that you really want our audience to know about you and all of the doctors at UT Southwestern once the doors open on this new facility? Sure. I think the most important thing for people to realize is that when we come to Frisco, we want to be part of Frisco. We want to be fully involved. We're not visitors to Frisco. I think many of the physicians here are actually going to be part of the community, yes. live in the community, spend our money in the community. We're not trying to bring UT Southwestern to Frisco. We're trying to grow UT Southwestern within Frisco. Within Frisco. I love that. What a beautiful saying. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Juan Cabrera, physical medicine and rehabilitation at UT Southwestern. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you.